We're carrying out a site investigation um, adjacent to Loch Lomond uh, on the A82 at Pulpit Rock. Uh, the A82 currently is a single carriageway lane, um, however there's a section um, that is uh, restricted to um, one-way access through uh, a traffic light system. Uh, the road needs improving um, to allow the, the flow of traffic in, in, in the summer months. Um, we believe it's a log jam uh, with, with, certainly with tourism um, and the emergency services are certainly struggling uh, to get through. The, the, the site investigation is to determine the geotechnical properties of, of the uh, prevailing ground conditions to design a new road. Uh, there are several options um, that have been considered by Transport Scotland. The first option is to extend out and put the carriageway over the lock. So that will be either means of um, a retaining wall and backfill and building the carriageway over that or a carriageway on legs. The other uh, second option is to blast away the edge of the rock um, and therefore reduce the size of the rock and have a carriageway. And the third option is to put a tunnel straight through the rock. The site can roughly be divided into three main elements. Um, the first is over the lock, where we'll be drilling with a, a jack-up rig. So that will be a, plat a floating platform with legs on, which jacks itself clear of the waterline. And then we, we drill from there and drill the bed of the lock. The second main element of the site is the road itself. We will be um, using night closures to drill through the carriageway and also the retaining walls above and below the road to find the makeup of the, of the road and the supporting supporting structures and then the third area of the site is the the hill behind us here where we have various different rigs drilling at different stages along the ton proposed tunnel alignment as well as off to the side we've got to characterize the rock mass that a potential tunnel would be supporting as well as the rock mass that the tunnel would be going through for the drilling we've got uh, an mc300 uh, made by camaccio um, it's, it's a nice little robust rig, uh, it's a tractor machine, it can drill at various angles, it can drill vertically, horizontally. Uh, we're running that with a, the gamma pump on the back for the water flushing, uh, because this rock type needs water flushing. Uh, we're gonna, it's be recirculated water, so we're not actually using lots and lots of water, so we'll just keep using the same stuff all the time. The system that we're running is a, a symmetric system to get down through the overburden to the rock. And then we run a SWF casing over the back of that and we start carding with a 131 diameter barrel, which gives a nominal core size of 108 millimetres. The site is, it is very, very remote um, and I think at worst we are around 35 to 40 metres above road level. Because of that we can't move our rigs as we would do on a traditional site investigation. Uh, so in order to get the rigs in place we're having to use helicopters to move uh, a substantial amount of kit to the top of the hillside. We're lifting bows as fuel, water, uh, welfare facilities, uh, you name it, everything, is being, everything that has to be moved is being moved by helicopters. The challenge is that we've got a lot of plant on the hillside that we have to organise to get in there. We've got to organise the lift with the helicopter. Certain things have got to be lifted in certain ways. Uh, to be strapped in certain ways, everything's got to be safe and secure. And the kit, some of it was weighing up to three tonnes and the steep slopes of the, uh, the rock face meant there was just no way of getting it up there physically. So we got, the, uh, got our heads together and we, uh, we came up with the idea that we would use a heavy lift helicopter. Um, and something that needs to lift three tonnes, you're, you're looking at something like a Super Puma, which uh, is very rare. The, the ones that are in the UK at the moment are pretty much contracted out 24-7 in the North Sea. And then we decided that the best way of doing this job was actually to split the drilling rigs down and use a lighter helicopter um, uh, to, to take the, the parts up in component form. Normally, um, it would take uh, a day and a half to put the, uh, put the kit back together. But with the, uh, the precision flying and the uh, helicopter putting it, doing it in component parts, we can actually put it back together in 20 minutes, which is what happened today. So we, we took about 24, 25 loads um, a mile along the edge of Loch Lomond from a, a farm base, which we'd agreed with a farm we could use, to the top of the site. The actual flight only takes 30 seconds um, to get this, these pieces of equipment up there. They're split down into 
into one ton section, one ton components. We take uh, the main drill up in three parts, the engineers at the top of the hill then uh, reconstruct on site. But they don't just pick it up once it's up there and, and put it in. The pilot actually flies the, the pieces into position in the air so the guys don't have to do any heavy lifting themselves and they just bolt it all back together. So it saves an awful lot of time um, and it is down to the skill of the pilot. I don't believe anybody's actually split a rig to airlift it, no. We are, I think we're probably the first people to do this. The project shows what uh, the size of, of RSK and all the services we can offer. Right from the outset, TES helped us with uh, putting the pre-qualification documents together. Now we've won it, Structural Soils are the principal contractor on site. Uh, we've used RSK Orbital to help us source helicopters for the, for the, for the movements. Um, Stats will be doing quite extensive geophysics on the site. Uh, there will be an element of, of chemical testing which Envirolab will, will carry out and Carter um, will be looking at the uh, ecology of, this, of the site, particularly with respect to uh, otters uh, in, in, in the lock itself. The geophysics can be divided into two main areas. We've got surface geophysics, which will be um, lines across the surface, finding out information on depths of um, overburden materials, so depths of soil before we get into the rock, also rock properties, fracture spacing, um, rock densities, that sort of thing. And the other main area of the geophysics is downhole. So when we've drilled uh, boreholes, we have special tools that go down the borehole and, and can log the side of the hole, so the fractures, fracture spacing, various properties of the rock, and also between holes. So we put a tool down two adjacent boreholes and we can send signals between them and characterise the, the rock mass between the two holes and get a cross section of the, of the, of the rock that will be directly tunnelled. A very important part of the works is the ecology on site. We're in an area of national parks, we're in a very sensitive area. The lock has otters that are known to live and breed along here. Um, bat roosting in the trees. So we, we're working very closely with ecologists from our, within the RSK group. Um, we have various licenses and restrictions and we, we get them out on a regular basis to inspect our works. If we need to move any uh, major pieces of equipment, they approve our, our methods beforehand. Once we've drilled boreholes, um, obviously we have samples that we need to test. Um, we're testing rocks and soils for mechanical properties, um, how easy it's going to be to use them to drill through and construct with. We're also using in-house laboratories for environmental testing for potential contamination to both protect workers on the scheme, make sure they're not going to come into anything con in contact with anything contaminated, and also to show that we're not um, polluting or damaging the environment that we're working in. This, this is a fairly complicated job, uh, it's, it's quite a demanding role because there's so many different elements involved. It's trying to keep everything moving, trying to adapt the planning on an hour by hour basis so that we're where we should be at the right time.